hello how are you i hope you are doing great so in today's video uh, what i am going to explain you about uh, my this automation so let me explain you uh, what is the use case of this automation so use case of this automation is this basically i have multiple clients and let's say and these all are dates basically these all are clients which are come to our services our coaching so we want to send them a message on that day let's say this customer on the first day this customer is coming and this customer so we just want to send two person or if there is no just we have to send two person. similarly on the second day third day fourth day so we have to send uh, each day only yes member and this is the name of the client and in the last column uh, you can see we have a uh, phone number of them so now what happened uh, in this scenario let me explain you a scenario as well so basically it will run daily uh, at 6 pm after that i use switch based on date if the date is one the c column the do d column e uh, third for e and four for f column if i go to the excel sheet you can see for the c column first so that's how uh, whatever the date we can understand which column we have to fetch from the google sheet so now next step is that we are using here we are using excel sheet so similarly whatever the output came the column it will fetch from 11 to so on how many clients we are because the first client is start from 11 now the next process what i did is i added a filter as well only people uh, just like on the first day we have multiple records we fetch all the c column but we only fetch to move yes column let's say we fetch whole c column from 11 to so on but we just want to move sixth row uh, the six and and that 22 row number so so it means the two records are further proceed similarly the next step is that what we are doing is we are getting their name that's why b column and the next step is that i am getting their ah phone number so in this step name and name because we are using name so now the next step is that we are using time to body and json api we are implemented here so it this is how it will work so i hope you understand the process uh, how it works so i just find a history on that let me show so let's say this is the 14th date uh, so if i go uh, to the column and this is the 14 day so how many yes one two three and four so total four are yes if i move scroll down so similarly if you can see only four times the filter pass on it's work fine the four four and the send a message so this is how our automation work working i hope you like my automation and if you like my automation please do subscribe my channel and if you have any query please do comments i will respond to you yes thank you